Hey guys, welcome back to another one. This is Crypto Elite, home to the number one Theta community. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can find me on Theta TV as well. All right, guys, in today's video, actually pretty exciting. One of our previous partners that we used to talk about a couple years ago, MGM, I connected some dots from a couple articles and I think they're back in the picture in a very large way. So we will discuss that in this video. And if you're unfamiliar, if you go to thetatoken.org and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, if you scroll down a little bit, first you get the enterprise validator nodes, which has Google, Sony, Samsung, CAA, some really big names. And then if you continue scrolling down, then they list all of their partners. And this is what I want to talk about because the very first one that is listed there is MGM. And this was something that came out years ago. Yeah, years ago now, actually. And a lot of the thought behind it was their content would end up on Theta TV. Turns out it didn't quite end up there as we thought, but they're still listed there as a partner. And I think, I connected some dots, so let's check it out. And I think it'll be more than just MGM Studios, but it'll potentially involve MGM Resorts. And as we know from previous partnerships, which we'll talk about here in a second, this would actually make quite a bit of sense, but it would add a lot to the partnership base for Theta when it has to do with casinos and NFTs. So let's dig into that right now. And it all stemmed from this article, which I will link in the description below, but gamble in the metaverse. This company, this casino company, just took first step to enter. And if we check it out, a leading casino and resort company has filed several trademarks related to the metaverse. Here's the latest. Um, casino company MGM Resorts International is one of several casinos related companies that filed metaverse trademarks recently. And uh, it was all recent and it was one of the attorneys and they talked about Mandela Bay, Bellagio, or some of the other casinos that filed metaverse type uh, trademarks. But according to the trademark filing, MGN could offer downloadable virtual goods, entertainment services, virtual visits of hotels, casinos, nightclub, restaurants, spas, and virtual concert and shows. So this is all very, very similar. And not too long ago on Thetadrop.com, there was a partnership with Resorts World Las Vegas, which is the newest hotel chain in the Las Vegas Strip. And it's a Hilton brand. If you scroll down to our featured partners, and you can see right there, Resorts World Las Vegas. If we go to the drop, all of this seems very, very familiar too, because there was a bunch of drops. One of them was a presidential package where you could get, this one is above and beyond a presidential suite. You can get tickets to shows, you get XYZ, you get a lot of stuff with this one. Uh, but the normal one was a VIP party package, which once again, you get a couple nights stay in the hotel and then you get um, a day bed. I think you get access to a concert. So it, this is not too unheard of for NFTs, especially NFTs in the Theta ecosystem. So if we go back to the article here, we can see that virtual visits to hotels, that's slightly different, but it's more metaverse related. Uh, entertainment services, yep, casinos, that also ties to Theta because of the different partnerships on Theta Drop. Uh, nightclubs, restaurants, spas, virtual concerts and shows, all that sounds very, very familiar. So the trademark includes potential for virtual casino chips, gaming tables, and slot machines. Now that is new, that is slightly different, but we'll tie the dots here soon. And why this is important, so the trademark filings could indicate that MGN and others are ready to offer virtual casinos and could launch a virtual currency related to the casino activities in the metaverse. And one way that these companies can launch their own blockchain, if you will, would be something like the mainnet 4.0, where companies, they could essentially just have their own blockchain with their own set of rules, and it's running, for lack of a better words, and simplifying a lot, on the Theta blockchain. Um, so that is one place where this could go into effect. Just a guess there. So MGN is the owner of properties in Las Vegas and across the United States. The company reported second quarter revenues of lots of millions of dollars, which is up quite a bit over year over year. And the company, and I thought this part was very, very interesting. As soon as I read that, the dots started to connect. 
So the company offers sports betting and online casino offers, offerings through its BetMGM joint venture with Entain Group. So I'll just stop with that sentence right there and we'll check out BetMGM and then we'll go on to Entain Group. If you are a Theta follower, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I used to talk about Entain Group. So let's check out BetMGM. If we go there to the website right now, it just wants to know where you are and this is a US thing. If you're outside of the US, gambling is not legal in every single state so they have to make sure you choose the correct state. If, let's just choose Nevada because uh, we know gambling is available there and it takes you to an app and this app it lets you download it you can get information and bet mgm nevada is brought to you by mgm resorts which is known for legendary casino destination in las vegas and the award-winning loyalty program mgm rewards every sports wager um, made by bet mgm players contributes to their status in mgm rewards so you get a little bit of rewards if you're a mgm fan and it just offers a large selection of online wagering options, including parlays, live in-game betting, futures, props, and more. So it's a lot of sports betting through this application, which is very, very neat. And like I said, this was a joint venture with Entain Group. And here is that press release when it came out. Entain and MGM Resorts International Bet MGM Business Update. And BetMGM expects to deliver net revenue from operations for over $1.3 billion in 2022 and reach a positive earnings in 2023. And they go on to talk about what BetMGM is. We just kind of discussed that, so I won't go over it. And then they give a lot of different data with it. That first bullet, BetMGM is achieving market share in line with this long-term target of 20 to 25% in U.S sports betting and iGaming. gaming so it is achieving starting to get that lion share of iGaming gaming um, in sports betting so that is what bet mgm is in a nutshell so now if you're unfamiliar with what entain group is this is something that has tied to theta and actually partnered with them not too long ago so about entain entain is an ftsc 100 company that is one of the world's largest sports betting and gaming group operations in the online and retail sector via our unique proprietary technology platform we offer sports betting casino poker and bingo online and operate some of the industry's most iconic brands and then they go on to list a lot of them and a lot of these are european based and some of them you might have heard of in the u.s as well but that third one being bet mgm so let's go on to find these ties so entain launches global innovation hub innovate and this is what i made an article or a video about not too long ago was this uh, partnership between Entain Group, Theta Network, and a couple other companies as well. But the main thing that they're using Theta Network for is for these NFTs. And at first I was a bit bummed out, but NFTs as they go on to describe it, or unique digital collectible assets, which Entain is developing for brands across the group. Party Poker is supposed to be one of the first ones, it is today announcing plans to launch its first official NFT shortly, powered by Theta Labs. And NFTs are um, non-fungible certificates of files, which could be pretty much anything. And they go on to talk about the different technology partnerships, which is Verizon. Uh, as we know, Verizon is a huge carrier and it has 5G. It also has BT, which has uh, state-of-the-art 5G connectivity and also edge computing power. And then Theta Labs, like I said, they're going to use Theta for NFTs. And remember that article, the article kind of alluded to the fact that MGN is going to use this for entertainment services, uh, virtual visits, casinos, nightclubs, restaurants, so on and so forth very similar to something that they've done before with resort, Resorts World Las Vegas. So this is not out of the picture that Theta Labs could be powering this 
uh, this entire thing with MGM Studios. And if you go to Entain Group, once again, our brands, and if you scroll down, uh, the main one that I wanted to show you is the US brands is bet MGM right there So I don't think it's unheard of or something that's out of the realm that theta soon will be partnering with MGM Studios or MGM uh, the the greater company once again this time not for their media content, but potentially for NFTs to uh, access their casinos or hotels and maybe do something very similar to this resorts world Las Vegas drop so let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below and I will see you on the next one.